Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Royal Rumble campaign where I'm trying to get as far into Legendary Iron Man with 90 plus hardcore mods, hardcore dark events, double enemy, uh, squad side, yellow alert, ABA, you name it. It is in here. It's the hardest kind of setting uh, that you can imagine. And we are still doing, relatively speaking, well. We're not down to one area. We have two. And uh, today we're trying to rescue Dr. Arthur, Arthur Campbell, which is an engineer, and finally get 90 intel, which we then will successively invest in order to expand our territory. Mm -hmm. There are a couple of bandits in our way. Uh, so that is a problem and it's also a moderately difficult mission so I'm assuming that the hunter will show up but we got uh, some ammunition at uh, least and let me just double check something didn't we take blue screen rounds let me just find that out really quickly All right, 18 days, blue screen protocol, takes preference. Should do that before the Skulljack, because with blue screen rounds, the whole thing would look much, much different. So back to the mission, as I was saying, so I can hear, and we're going to go into that council mission, hopefully soon with blue screen rounds. For now, we got what we got, uh, so we're going to work with these. And we also have those old conventional grenades. They need another upgrade. Uh, so it's not perfect, but I'm trying my best just to upgrade the most important items first. And by far the most important one that I would want to upgrade are any form of armor items. Let's jump into the mission and see how well we can do. All right, so we are starting with a, a VIP. That's good. That's good. Arthur is with, uh, with us. That's good. The one thing that is a bit problematic is we do not have any cover, uh, concealment rather. But we got high ground here. So that is a start. Hawkbite moves up. Ataxia takes a side position. We should have used the spider suit. Why am I not thinking about that one? My bad, because we don't have armor upgrades yet. So, damn it. Second time in a row that I forgot the spider suit. It's not the end of the world but it can be quite helpful got it. at least i got uh, the shadow P uh, shadow sweeper pistol on him which is helpful uh, which is very helpful for us uh, that will increase the sniper's accuracy and as you can also see we got the alien ruler axis here that again can be uh, help for us and implacable with that extra armor is as tanky as it gets uh, i guess with with uh, out any armor chosen is coming yep I mean, that was to be expected, right? Skirmishers, we don't have that. Bewildered, okay. And nothing new. He had 30 hit points the last time. Like last. 35, yeah, that's about what he had the last time we met. When they get back to base, we'll have to give our soldiers some time to heal. Mentally and physically. 
We just picked up a unique signature. One of the chosen is here. That thing is only going to make trouble for us until Okay, we so we are obsessed that uh, Hogbite does have a mind shield, so the obsession can't really last that long. All right, Hogbite moves in. Hmm. Mm. I think this here is reasonably aggressive without like going all the way. I think we just triggered a mutant. Oh no, we actually managed to avoid him. How cute. Let's take the inside route. <laughs> okay, so say... Yeah, we could we could do that without triggering okay fair enough and that here and slicinator effectively stays here okay we know there is a mutant kind of around the corner We know there's a pack right here. Ooh, it's one of those mutant hunters. They were, were the ones with these huge, huge guns. Well, surprise. We're up here. No. Edwin Stunlancer comes in and overwatches immediately. Oh, it's getting better and better. Hmm. All right, fantastic hook bite immediately takes six points of damage. We haven't even started. Okay, that seems to be the bandit uh, crew. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Power numbers uh, this time. Five of them. One already died. The rest just goes on overwatch. Okay, let, let the Chosen deal with them. And we gotta lick our wounds. As much as possible. The most dangerous game. Oh, All right, so that could be a kill. Let's start with healing Hogbite. He's not full full, but good enough for now. Time to hit that stun lancer. All right, so one down. Can't really take any high ground. Not in a meaningful way, but what we could do is we can move into full cover and start getting that mech down.
and we're going to get some focus for Hawkbite. There we go, focus is building up. Like it. Okay. Moving up, we anyways need to position ourselves a little bit better. And I could see that there was a mech in the evac zone. Good, we're moving the VIP into a safe location. Moving up all the way. Uh, that's not a hundred percent kill. Want to keep the throwing axe. Could drop down. We would be giving up our high ground. Is uh, there a quick way? Yep, we can. We could get back up. All right, I'm trying to save the teamwork to not use it. An obvious solution would be to just use the teamwork. All right, it did not work. This time we're doing the teamwork in the reverse order. And I just want to make sure we're... We're not taking any chances. That mutant uh, could single-handedly kill any of our units. And that's really not what I would want to happen. All right, we do have a problem. The bandits are destroying our cover. Scanning. <laughs> that is a mistake. There is a mutant hunter and a shield bearer. These guys will... They will not take the, uh, that sort of aggression lightly. You are in a in a lot of trouble, my friends. All right, what are we going to do? This here should give us a line of sight to the bandit. Apparently can't hit that guy, so we're going to take a different route. Continuing to heal. 
I want to top off hogfight. Moving into full cover. We're hunkering down. Another full cover. Another full cover. And I think for now this year should be good. Ataxia, also full cover. We got a hack. Maybe something we should take. Let's see. This is fantastic. But 14% is not going to fly. 70 on the other hand is uh, something that we could do since the whole map is anyways uh, control um, already alerted might as well take control of an enemy and we got the worst possible outcome a bended infantry good job Could have been a nice alien. But no, we got an infantry who's potentially going to die right now. Yep. That was our ma mind controlled bandit. Okay, so All right, I'll go. Starting to move on. We got a purifier over there. <clears throat> Going into more cover. Again, I want to be careful here. But this is a perfect option to... No, we're not even shredding him. No, but we're removing cover. Problem is he had three shields. Good, so moving up. Moving to position. That seems reasonable. We're moving everybody into full cover. I want to make sure that we're really having a safe position here. Hexia can help us with some more high ground, but that's pretty much about it. Alright, 
Viper took some decent damage. And the hunter is burning, which is advantageous for us, I, I guess. I can see it further than you think. How much damage would we deal? Six to seven. That's not a full kill yet. All right, moving up. Perfect, that's a good time to start dishing out some damage. Six points there. And that's unfortunately a miss. I wish it was a hit. Careful not to get too close. Hmm. No really good positions. This one here is decent. I wasn't aware that he was on Overwatch. Must have missed it or it was hidden Overwatch. Elsewise, of course, I would have started to heal up first. Good, we're out of tracking shot, outside of tracking shot in we are the most likely target, so here's the parry. Arpa just tries to hunker down for now. Full cover, although it does not look like full cover. Problem is, this guy is shielded. We first of all need to remove the shields. Good. Getting a bit closer. Can't really hit anything from back here. Yeah, that shielding is a problem. Okay, that was good. 50-50 was hitting. And since it worked so well, let's just give him an aid protocol to make sure Slicinator is not the target. I 
think this is the right play. Cover. Shotgun to the face. And that's fantastic damage. Hmm. What are we going to do with you? What's over there? We'll cover. Yep, that's good enough. Good. So, since the mutant is poisoned, he will die. Reloading for Ataxia, because we want to make sure that we have enough power to sustain that fight. Moving in, getting that nice little shield bearer, and triggering yet another enemy. Yeah, we're harrying in the middle of nowhere. Arthur is just trying to stay alive here. Alright, not a fantastic amount of damage, but still okay. They are pretty clustered here. But the mech is far away. I'm not sure if if the mech knows that they are so clustered up. On the move. On over. All right, Overwatch. Okay, attacks here. Uh, let's give Hawkbite the aid protocol that he needs. And then right afterwards, I'd like to kill that Advent Mac. Down to six hit points. Superior scope and advanced condition. Mm. That was a really, really, really good loot. All right, we're parrying. Moving up. Slicinator moves up. Just trying to get angles here. Oh, 
All right, he should see Hogbite and take a shot. Nice, very nice. That's what we needed. Okay. So you want to play double or nothing? Okay. Oh boy. That was a waste. I did not check the ammunition. But he's poisoned and that is helpful. That is incredibly helpful Alright, let's see if this would hit <laughs> Mwah, chef kiss. You might be the first to ever take me down more than once, Commander. Don't get cocky. I'll be back to finish this later. I'd say we owe our people a break after taking down that. Oh yeah, absolutely. We got nice loot. This here is working out so well. Is it clear? Copy that. What's over there? Got it, moving. Good. Got it. Moving. All right, we still have a few turns left over. And in the end, all things considered, we actually did reasonably well, I would say. We did reasonably well. Of course, that random hit against Hawkbite where he really couldn't do much. That sucked, but other than that, it was fine. Um, my favorite moment, random mind control of a bandit, and I am uh, already not liking it. I would have much rather liked to have that mutant hunter. Hmm. And of course, what would you expect? Bandit gets one shot. But here's the deal. We uh, got ourselves a VIP. We got ourselves Intel. And with a VIP, we got another engineer, if I'm not mistaken. So that's much needed momentum in our direction. And hopefully we're getting some promotions because we're behind the curve quite a bit. The 
Ghostbusters children are incredibly resilient. Well, so much for the so much for the promotions, right? Hmm. Superior scope and advanced conditioning. Good, so we got another engineer, which I would immediately put here so that the excavation moves on a bit faster. And then in terms of just realistically, Euler here together with D, uh, Dilly G are potentially our main team. So Euler with his death from above we should give him superior perception. He can really benefit from it. And if we're now making weapons available, we're actually taking like our normal weapon. And we're putting that superior scope in here. Yeah, all of a sudden we're rocking massive 106 aim on him. That is good. That is good because with death from above and high ground, that'll already ignore uh, light cover, which means he will hit them. Good. Well, that is really good. In terms of training center... Potentially nothing new, right? Yeah, not really. Got a lot of interesting abilities, but nothing too fancy. Remove negative traits. Good. And let's move on. I think we're continuing with our supply rate because the logic is still to get more Alois and Delirium and experience. So we need to do more missions if possible. 100 Intel, holy shit. Game is tempting us to go down the psionic route, but no, 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 no. I want Delirium 12 days. You can start with Psionics, but we're going to go to the black market. Got a lot of intel now, 190, that is great. We want Delirium, yes please. Superior speed, hmm. A scientist? Hmm. But no. No, no, no. If we get superior speed, we can still expand, right? Right. And superior speed is good. It is fantastic. For someone like Hogbite, it's great. It would be good for Reaper, but it's not increasing our survivability. And for now, let's just stick with the Intel. There are so many good things that I would love to buy. Advent Trooper Corpse. I wish we could get more by clicking on minus and just paying three supplies for it. Enjoy your victory, Commander. You've earned it. Just don't expect me to take this lying down. 
Research is proceeding as planned, Commander. Changing the research to Alarium, yes, please. We still got more advent data pets, and if they all yield that much of intel, we're actually fine. Avatar progress, uh, project is making progress again. I hope our covert action will soon yield some advances uh, we're close to being forced to go into one of the facilities as soon as possible commander we've located one of their facilities well great right now we got <laughs> oh boy Okay, so we got two missions in record time. We got this one here with an extremely powerful alien guarding it. And we got the supply rate. Not good. Worst timing ever. If I, we still got advanced conditioning left over and I'm wondering who should get it. Potentially Roby. Some extra hit points is never wrong. We need those because big seven damage is the absolute standard and surviving one shot at least would be greatly appreciated. In terms of building stuff, what can I do for you, Commander? Armor upgrade would be good. That would be good. Purifier corpse. I don't need that. Essentially 10 Alarium Crystals. Mm -mm. We need the Alarium for the armor later and it's not coming for free. If the Alarium is actually successfully going through then I believe we could almost get the armor upgrade already. And that would be huge. We would essentially skip normal armor tier. Well... Okay, we still would need to have enough Alarium and Alloys, but we could buy them in the black market uh, going forward. And I think from a supply perspective, it's like 400. It's really expensive, but these armor, uh, the, the armor upgrade would be massive. It's like plus eight hit points to all soldiers. And in some of the cases, immunity to like minor effects. Um, Oh yeah, and and I think one armor on top of it. So, oh yeah, that that would give us a lot of sustainability. But now we do have a problem. I mean, we need to put two teams together. I think that in itself would work. But keep in mind, I'm playing effectively with a side trip sergeant uh, sergeant level uh, only. A few more experienced troops but most of our troops are in and around that sergeant uh, rank and we will need to see how we're going about that okay very good anyways brings us to the end of today's episode if uh, you want to invade a uh, facility that has been built by a like button then just look no further than on your map uh, right at the bottom right of this video there is uh, the facility if you click hard enough on it it might reduce your personal doom timer take care and see you soon